Let's take one SOLIDWORKS surface example. This is a kind of shower head. Now see the dimensions in millimeter. Corner fillets are 0.5. Thickness are 2.5. And section CC placed at tangent point of lower line and Z direction. Okay, let's see. Now we have one top view. There is the one section view AA. Then there is the one section C here. Then there is the one detailed view of this corner. So let's start from one end, outer diameter 100. Okay, we will start from here. Now there is a straight line, then you will see there is a curve. These all dimensions are curved dimensions. So first we will start this uh, 100 millimeter, then this diameter 25. Okay, this is the and here also one more diameter 25 distance 225 then one dimensions here 225 minus 65 is one going to be 160 then at the end we will make this curve see this curve 45 here the bottom curve see dimension 10 36 so if we subtract this 10 millimeter so it's going to be 26 Similarly here subtract 10 millimeter from 66.10, 56.8. This is this. This is actually a kind of a, uh, what we say spline. This is spline length 115 millimeter. Okay, let's see how we can achieve. Then this part we will make later. We will make this one first. Top plane sketch. Activate circle and draw circle at center point and make diameter 100 millimeter simply exit now go to right plane activate plane let me create one plane 225 see okay now select this plane sketch activate circle and draw one circle 25 diameter okay let me connect this first Now the length is 60 minus 10, it's 50 millimeter because 10 millimeter is uh, upper dimension 25, exit. Now let me create one more plane. So go to feature, activate drop down, geometry, plane, first reference keep same, right plane. Now here apply 225 minus 65 160 fine select this plane sketch select this previous sketch and apply convert entity see it, we don't need to draw any dimensions now it's time to make a sketch and connect from here to here let me select exit front plane sketch now activate line exit go back to the point and see this is converted into arc so place somewhere here exit smart dimension 45 millimeter this one Okay, let's tilt a little bit. Select this curve, radius, circle, this point and make re relation pierce. Similarly, I'll do select this surface, upper side, select this end point, pierce. Look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Normal view. Again, let me add from bottom side. exit okay let me drag this one up to something here and from here i am going to activate this spline and i am going to give two points one two and the third one here right click select and exit okay 
let me select this point and this one peers normal view smart dimension now these dimensions were given 36 minus 10 26 10 millimeter similarly this one 56.8 again 10.8 okay now let me define this one 150 okay now select the bottom edge and select this end point peers okay now select this one let's move something like uh, horizontal okay drag handle even uh, we can apply the dimensions but let's keep as it is our geometry is fully defined see now we have proper path for this exit now let me hide all the planes we have to make uh, sorry we forget to add here 3d sketch now select line and i told you this is going to be line select this point press tab key and see this is going to move along z axis now this is reference point okay exit now plane going to create select this and select this point this is the our plane going to create okay sketch choose ellipse now let me select this point select this one horizontal distance 40 millimeter okay now let's drag this okay now select this point and this upper curve peers similarly select this lower curve this point peers look see exit hide this even hide this line also now see we have a proper guide now let's apply boundary surface even you can do it with a uh, lofted but let's apply boundary surface in boundary surface we have to choose direction not profile so let's say this first curve i'm going to select select upper side all first curve second curve see it is how it is moving third curve and let's say the last curve okay see the direction approach now uh, there is a guided curve so i am not going to choose any uh, let's say in direction 2 let me select this one now both sketch created in one sketch both line created in one sketch so it is asked you is it open or closed loop so choose open loop this is open loop because we selected only one not all say okay now see how it took this shape now select the second sketch select this sketch again system ask this is open or close say open select okay now see how the profile is going to move now you don't need to define here either this uh, uh, what we say normal to profile or anything because we already applied path now just rotate and see the preview merge tangent faces so that uh, it's going to be perfectly aligned 
¿sí? Now, let's say top plane. Okay. Now see detail view. 12.5, depth 1.5, then here depth 1.2. The center gap 5 millimeter. And this is taper shape like uh, 85 diameter, uh, 85 degree, diameter 12, 22. So radius going to be 1. Okay. Front plane is sketch. Activate line tool. And make little something like this. Okay, we have to make one center line. Just see if you, uh, this is middle point. Twelve point five, five, one point five, one point two. Now the angle. Eighty five and the radius or diameter, diameter twenty two. Look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Okay. Now let me go to surface, activate revolve surface. See by default system took this center line as an axis of revolution and apply 360 degree so that we will get a circular body. Okay. But see, you will see this line. There are two different bodies. You will observe here. Now here also we need to add top plane is sketch let me select the upper uh, curve or circle convert entity now go to su surface apply extruded surface now see the direction it is moving upside keep end condition blind start plane we will keep same distance 10 millimeter now before going to apply thickness, we have to uh, knit all uh, surfaces. Now let me select body 1, body 2, body 3. This is by default tolerance keep as it is. Now we have one body. Thicken. Thickness 2.5. Click and see material move flow inside. We need to flow material inside. Okay. Okay, fillet 0.5 radius uh, fillet type you can choose constant size fillet tangent propagation. Now these are the few edges we can apply outside to outside. Okay. Now see material apply from here or uh, I am going to apply some appearance, let's say brushed finish. Okay. Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.